So most people know that I'm a professor in mechanical engineering here at Carnegie Mellon, but actually my first career ambition was to be a professional uh, mountain biker. I grew up kind of uh, in the west coast of Canada, even with my parents riding on trails. I started riding mountain bikes seriously when I was maybe about 13 years old in 1993 or so. And that was really when there was a lot of growth in that sport. It was a few years before mountain biking went to the Olympics. And just the neighborhood kids, that's what everybody was kind of doing. I kind of grew up in a, in a rural area with lots of trails and that just kind of the way bike riding is, it just kind of leads to this competitive aspect to it and trying to go fast as you can. I started getting really competitive in downhill mountain biking, which is where you go to the top of a ski slope in the summer and race down as fast as you can. In 96, I made the podium at the Canadian Nationals for that. And so the following year, I got a sponsorship from the Research and Development Department at Rocky Mountain Bicycles, which is one of the major North American bike manufacturers. And it was, you know, at the time I was 17 years old and I would go to the, the factory where they design and build their high-end bikes and see their engineers doing finite element simulations, 3D models. We got to ride prototype bikes. So in 97, I raced on the World Cup circuit for mountain bikes for them, went to the World Championships for the Canadian team. And yeah, that really exposed me to the other side of things. Didn't work out the way I wanted it to for that, but uh, I've made a, a happy balance of the exciting research we get to do and teaching we get to do here at Carnegie Mellon and still get to do racing at a fairly high level. One thing I really like about it is the progression of getting better and faster. It's a mix of, you know, what are you physically capable of and what is the equipment capable of and combining those two. But there's also those other, you know, euphoric feelings of when you win a race. And I, you know, I think what happens to a lot of people when they get started racing and that first win comes or the first big result or big accomplishment comes, that euphoric feeling becomes actually a very addictive feeling as well. Last year, I took a pretty big step up in terms of some results. So I was the Pennsylvania State Champion. I got 20th at the National Championships. This year, the National Championships are nearby in Hagerstown. And so, you know, pull off a top 10 there even better would be kind of a dream. It's kind of a lifelong sport. So you find out a lot of people have been doing it for a long time. You know, it doesn't have any structure. You don't have to have a field reserved for it or rink time reserved for it. If you are doing something where you have to do a lot of thinking, but you're often surrounded by technology and the, the, the busy surroundings of the lab. It's a chance to really solidify your thoughts and do a lot of good thought experiments. And so I'm actually very happy sometimes just going on a four hour ride by myself, no music, and just thinking through things, even work things. No distractions, besides the cars going by. 